You are about to view the proper application of the tourniquet to a patient's arm as an aid to venipuncture. Steps shown are for a right-handed person. If you are left-handed, substitute dominant and non-dominant, respectively, for right and left references. Place the tourniquet around the arm three to four inches above the intended venipuncture site. If closer to the site, the vein may collapse as blood is withdrawn. If too far above the site, the tourniquet may be ineffective. Grasp one side of the tourniquet in each hand a few inches from the end. This will allow sufficient length for fastening the tourniquet and creating the loop. Apply a small amount of tension and maintain it throughout the process. Tension is needed so the tourniquet will be snug when tied. If too much tension is applied, it will be too tight and it will roll up on itself or twist and cause discomfort to the patient. Bring the two sides together and grasp them both between the thumb and forefinger of the right hand. Reach over the right hand and grasp the right side of the tourniquet between the thumb and forefinger of the left hand and release it from the grip of the right hand. The tourniquet ends will now be held in opposite hands, with the sides crossed over each other. Cross the left end over the right end near the left index finger, grasping both sides together between the thumb and forefinger of the left hand, close to the patient's arm. If there is too much space between the left index finger and the patient's arm, the tourniquet will be too loose. While securely grasping both sides, use either the left middle finger or the right index finger to tuck a portion of the left side under the right side and pull it into a loop. The loop allows the tourniquet to be released quickly by a slight tug on the end that forms it. The tourniquet ends should point toward the shoulder to prevent them from contaminating the blood collection site.